parents that come in are wonderful. The students that we have here are absolutely fantastic. It's a great school if you like a hands-on experience. Uh, Wood Creek is a wonderful school. We have programs that a lot of high schools don't even have. I drop my children off every morning reassured that my children are going to learn, they're going to flourish and have a good day and always have something for me at the end of the day that they've learned at school. My child is very happy here. He's, as, he's advancing in his math and science area. He loves it. He's in the after school program, Farm for Physics, and the Young Engineers program, and he loves it. Wood Creek is a very special school. It's um, a family school. We feel like a family here and just love it. It's a family concept. Everyone helps everyone. We have oodles and oodles of teamwork that goes on here from the principal down to the smallest or youngest um, uh, kindergarten student. So our students get a lot of real world application here where they actually see science and engineering at work. At our school daily we pick up uh, food comp or food waste that the students don't eat at lunchtime. Um, we rotate through the whole school so that every student gets a chance to pick up the food waste, measure it, um, they weigh it, they take it outside, they uh, dig a hole in the, we have a eight foot by four foot compost bin and um, they find a place to bury the new uh, food waste. Um, they take temperatures inside the bin. What we do in lunch is some people get um, to take the um, food out to the warm bin and have and all the um, vegetables and stuff so the worms can actually eat the food and make rich soil. The students, I, I think, of interesting experiences uh, would have to be connected with the uh, students maintaining the worm bin and the, uh, the excitement of them, um, for example, seeing uh, the birth of baby worms and to realize uh, that uh, worms, uh, just like butterflies, come out of a cocoon. We gather food from the lunch supplies, like things that the worms can eat, like newspaper and bananas and stuff like that, and apples. We gather all those stuff that children don't want, and we take them back by the playground and dump it in the worm bin to um, grow more and more soil in the um, Worm bin. Other uh, disciplines besides science can be involved with this. You know, there can be uh, creative writing and, of course, math because uh, the students are recording temperature, outside air temperature, and also temperature inside the worm bin. What they're doing, well, this is like the cutting edge of uh, what is becoming a worldwide phenomenon. Today we've scheduled each classroom to come down for 30 minutes. The class comes in. We have our student ambassadors working with us. Um, they sit down, the children down and give them a little background about RIF and we let the children walk through the books and select one. Our students help check the books out. The book is stamped with a RIF stamp and they put their names in it and they can take it home or read it in class for um, extracurricular reading. Oh, I'm an avid reader and I love books and the whole RIF program is something that is advantageous to the children because they get a free book to take home with them. They get to select any book that they choose and they just have a ball. You get to learn new things. Our art teacher, um, is very good. She always teaches us um, new things. 
Overall, I really enjoy tying my art stuff into the curriculum here at Wood Creek. Okay, put your plates down and look back up here. We're gonna move on to the painting part now and I need really good listening ears. All right, what is what kind of animal are we making? Ra oh, raise, raise your hands. Solomon, what are we making? Sea turtles. What do we remember from our book about sea turtles? Only raised hands. What do you remember? Anything. They swim quickly. Good job. What else? I like the after school programs. They have robotics. They have fashion and interior design. They have where you can um, make your own newspaper. My son's been here since kindergarten and I know just about most of the children here. And everybody knows me as Adresa's mom. <laughs> there's so much going on here for kids and um, it's so interesting and there's always something special coming down the road and the after school clubs are wonderful. Our class is going to actually be involved in designing a butterfly sanctuary, right? So. Our job today is going to be to start planting some of the seeds of the flowers that we're going to transplant into the butterfly sanctuary. Your class is going to actually design um, a garden that will attract butterflies. What type of gardening uses rock wool? Yeah. Indoor, indoor gardening? Okay. Indoor gardening and a specific kind of indoor gardening, hydroponic. Okay. I'm just reviewing this because it's been such a long time since I've seen you in here for hydroponics. Do you remember transplanting your plants? What did you put them into? Yes. Clay balls. Okay. This is really nutritious for our plants. So this is the other medium that we're going to use for planting. And what I'm going to do right now is just show you how to plant both ways, okay, and answer your questions. And then you're going to get into your groups and that'll probably give you just enough time before lunch to get your seeds planted. This is peat. It's actually decayed leaves and twigs and stuff from animals, right? Okay, so it actually in time it just kind of disappears in the ground, but it's nutritious for your plants. So it's almost to the top. Can you see that? Okay, then you're going to have your seed packet open if you can remember this, when you open your seed packets, open it from the bottom, like that, okay? Because there's useful information at the top that you might need to come back to and read. So just do that, get your seeds down there, and just rip off the top like that. I'm not gonna do this one because it belongs to somebody, a team over there. You just rip it off. Um, the seeds are quite small. So what are you gonna use again to get your seeds out? Okay. There's, at each table, there's a toothpick for every person. And um, so each one of you gets your toothpick that's wet, and you reach down there and plant two seeds, two seeds for every cup. You hardly have to cover the seed at all with soil. Okay, so we gotta dump some of this out. Okay, halfway. You have to forgive me on this one. Halfway, right? Okay, then you're going to put in how many fertilizers? Okay, one and then two, and then you, you uh, fill it almost to the top, like that. Okay, then you're going to get your toothpick that's wet, and you're going to get how many seeds to put on top? How many? Oh, okay, so with my fingers, I'm just going to sprinkle it on like that. This isn't the kind of soil that gets you really dirty anyway, so I sprinkle it on top, and I put it back in our indoor garden, like that. That's as far as I'm really hoping we get today. 